So I guess next, can you kind of take us through the different types of figure? Um, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, so in terms of just figure in general, okay, not just maple, but, but mm-hmm. other species throughout the world, whether it's Africa, South America, mahoganies and, and other exotics is uh, curl is by far the most dominant or common type of figure quilt or quilted pattern is by pretty close to the rarest and so you have curl figure and maple Mm -hmm. um you see it in uh, many species but they tend to be more common uh, a common trait of specific species like maple here in america but you'll find it in exotics um it's really preference you know some guys Swear by flame curly figure, which, by the way, there's a difference. I don't know if you, your your uh, audience knows that. Yeah, that's what I was just going to ask is, you know, is there a difference between flamed and curly? Yeah. And Yeah, yeah, there actually is. In that, and, uh, oh, let's see if I can find you an example. Uh, let's see. Okay, so. Yep, yeah, I found one. All right, so I'm just going to I'm I'm just going to do this block here because you're going to it'll give you a better idea. So, curl curly maple is a general term. It's the parent term. Think of it that way. It's it's any wood with curl figure technically by, by by the rules is curly maple. However, there's actually a difference. Curl figure on the flat sawn side of the board is true curly maple. Curl figure on the quarter side of the board is called flame maple. And in not all cases, but in many cases, the curl figure that's on the flat side of the tree literally looks crinkled like curl, mm-hmm. where the curl on the quartered side tends to be more that pinstripe flame figure. And um, so why don't I do this? I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. And then I'm gonna show you a really, uh, something cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip flop on you. I'm gonna show you the... Okay. Um, what it looks like inside the tree and i've got a master grade example of this and then i'll get into the type of figure and all that so i'm gonna turn this around all right so what you're looking at here now this is rough sawn and oxidized probably doesn't look that pretty right now but believe it or not this is red leaf curly maple its botanical is acer rubrum And this is a quarter sawn example. And this tree actually, so we're talking about defects and all that. I had a slab that was 15 feet long, 30 inches wide and two and a half inches thick. It weighed 500 pounds. And this is, this is at the base of the tree. So it Mm -hmm. actually fared out, came out here, but at the base of the tree, there was tension and it fractured the board in the drying process and it mm-hmm. gave us a really cool insight look into what figure looks like in a master grade curly maple tree check this out uh, before you pull it can you show kind of the butt end of the piece so they know what you're talking about quarter sawn yeah. versus flat sawn yep so so this uh okay it's really this end but this end is rough this mm-hmm. is actually clean you can see it here there's your vertical grain, annual tree ring growth, and it is vertical relative to the face. And as you go to the right here, the wood will transition to a horizontal pattern, rift then into flat. So to the right here would be the center heartwood. Mm-hmm. But as you come to the outer edges and you see this, this tapered live edge that was here, bark was here. As you get towards the center of the trees where you call, pull your quartered wood. Yeah, so quartered wood has those vertical grains on the end. And if you're looking at the face of it, you'll probably just see a bunch of grain streaks that run down. Whereas flat sawn, that would be horizontal, probably somewhat curved. And you kind of see that cool looking arch pattern in the face of it. But anyway, I'll let you continue. yeah, no, no, you're you're absolutely right. So when people say, "Hey, I want vertical grain," that's what they mean. They're looking for these perfect uh, an- annual tree ring growth lines that are vertical to the face that that's um, 
that you're using. So we, in guitar, we use the width or the face. So here's, here's inside of the tree, right? So now in a, in a tree that has no figure, it's perfectly flat. And matter of fact, it wouldn't fracture this way. It fractured because it had figure in it. So that's if you insane. see this, that's not a saw mark. That's a fracture line. It was insane. Look at that. It literally has peaks and valleys. And it's, an, it's literally peaks and valleys. And you turn it relative to the light that's shining on it. Because curl figure has light sensitivity. It's literally rippled. And this is a fantastic, obviously a master grade example of this. But look at the look at the, the fibers. They're literally bent. And so if you can imagine a tree that weighs 10, 15,000 pounds. This is at the now this is at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And this is how the grain is. Like how this tree didn't fall over is a mystery to me. And I will tell you, I this whole tree was like this all the way through. I mean, literally all the way through the heartwood. It was a once in a lifetime tree. I, so special. I kept it, you know, is a more of a mm -hmm. conversational piece. And you can see where you put the tie in it because it fractured. We had metal straps and they had to keep it, <laughs> which did not work. So, but anyways, that's, uh, yeah, look, it's literally bent. Wow. There's one of the fibers there. It's kind of blurry, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. So anyways, and there it goes back together like it never happened. That's incredible. Yeah, isn't that something? Yeah, I, I was I was excited because you you try to explain that to people and and, it, and it's not their fault. The people just look at you with ten heads like, what are things God's earth are you talking about? Mm -hmm. and got a chance to actually show people, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's why we wanted to have you on for this first interview because there's a whole lot of misconceptions in the guitar world it seems like especially about flame maple figured maple yep. whole nine yards so hopefully yeah. this is educational to a few um hey if you like that video it's part of a larger video that we did that you can find at our channel while you're there, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notifications bell to be notified anytime we post more cool guitar related stuff.